Hi everyone, Nicholas Bob here. This is here from Sunny Cyphers, and welcome to today's tutorial, which is all about merging pictures into a document. Now, if you've used Mail Merge before, you know what a fantastic tool it is, uh, especially when we're going to merge data from a, a data source like an Excel file. But have you ever thought about also merging pictures which are stored in a folder somewhere on your computer? So the example I'm going to be using today is going to be about student certificates. We can see these over here, these lovely certificates over here where we've got uh, pictures of the student and the student grades and reports here. And all of these are merged automatically from a data source and from a file which contains all of their pictures. Now, I'm going to be... Uh, referring to some video tutorials as well which i'm going to put a link to in the description down below uh, the reason is i'm not going to go over the entire process of what mail merge is and how you can start a mail merge because this is probably something you already know if you're looking to merge pictures however if you don't you can find the tutorials at the bottom and also i'm going to be talking about how we can also merge um, the document so instead of it being one document one long document with all the the certificates inside one document how we can actually have each student certificate emerged as an individual file with a personalized file name in a folder so again there's another process for that i'm not going to cover that in this video tutorial i'm going to demonstrate it but if you want to learn how to do that again the link is down below in the description Okay, so I'm going to start off by showing you what it is you're going to be able to achieve by the end of this video tutorial and then we'll go into the entire process and explain all the ins and outs and the whys. So let's get started. So in this folder, we can actually see the merged documents, the final documents which I've merged in two different ways. Let's look at the first one. So this is one file. Yes, it is a PDF. It's not a Word document. You're going to understand why very shortly once we start doing the merge um, tutorial so if I open this we can actually see here this is one document and all the certificates are inside this one document so all the student certificates are in this document we can see that the picture of each student has been added in the top corner it is proportional um, all the images are the same size the image is not blowing up the structure of the document um, so the size of the image is not going to disrupt the structure of your document and all the data of the student has been added in here okay so that's the first scenario the next scenario which is um, not more complicated you basically need to set this up once and again as I said there's descriptions there's links to in the description below where you can actually see how to do this but then um, we'll talk more about it when we get there so the other process is this one where we can actually export each certificate as a unique file a separate file with a unique file name and we can see here the file names are actually the certificate number which you wouldn't know that one telling you that's a certificate number and the student name and each one of these files essentially is just one certificate and that's it and this makes it really easy if we want to find a particular student certificate or if we want to email a student certificate we don't have to cut up a, a large document just to extract one page which can be very uh, time consuming and a little bit tricky okay so the first step is um, let's have a look at our data source so here i'm using an excel file i've called it data now don't worry about all these folders i'll explain what each one is um, in due time so the first one is our data here so if i open this we can see I've got a spreadsheet with my data. I've got six students. Um, these are the certificate numbers, which uh, it is a unique number. Uh, their data, date of birth, and some grades, um, conduct, so on and so forth. Okay, so these are this is standard when we're mail merging data. We have a data source. We have all the data um, in an organized manner, tabular form with uh, our columns. And over here, we can see these shaded things here. We're only interested in this green column right now. Um, this pe these peach color columns, these three here, don't worry about these for now. These are really more about being able to merge the, the certificates as individual files with unique file names. We'll look at that towards the end. So the only one I'm really concerned about now is this one here. I want to find the path of the picture for each particular student okay so that's the next thing that i need to do so i'm just going to minimize this and i'm going to look at my folder here this is my folder pics and i'm going to open this up and i can see i've got the pictures of my students here i've named these pictures with the certificate number because as we said in my data source 
this is a unique number. So it's always good to have a unique number, whether it's a student number, whatever it is, and name your pictures accordingly, because that way it's easy to match the picture with the correct uh, record for that student. Otherwise, you're going to have different pictures of different students and the records won't match. So the next step is, how do I get the file path for these uh, pictures here? So the file path for this one, we can see is actually C drive merge slash pics 90.jpg. But that's just going to be really tedious having to type all this out or copy pasting it if I've got hundreds and hundreds of these to do. So the easy way is this. I'm going to select all either by control A or dragging over. And if you've got Windows 11, if you simply right click anywhere on this selection, you get this option here, copy as path. So we simply click on that. If you don't have Windows 11 or you can't see uh, this option uh, in the menu, then do this. We select everything. And this time we're gonna hold the shift button on our keyboard. We're gonna keep that pressed. And while we've got that shift button pressed, we're going to right click anywhere in this selection. And you should see here the copy as path. Now, this little trick with the shift bar, holding the shift button before right clicking is actually a fantastic trick if you are a Windows 11 user as well. Why? Well, one thing I, I always um, find very annoying is when I want to refresh my uh, Windows Explorer, I right click, then I have to go to show more options, and then I have to click on refresh. And that's just too many clicks. However, if I hold the shift button and right click, I see the entire possible menu the show more properties, everything is there, okay? So I get the refresh directly. So it's a nice little tip for you Windows 11 users. If you're finding this whole uh, thing, show more options really annoying, um, just hold the shift button and right click and, and there you go. So let's continue. So I'm gonna select all of this. I'm going to right click on my selection and choose copy as path. Now I'm going to go to my Excel document. I'm going to right click in this uh, first cell here and I'm gonna choose paste. Now, the first thing that we notice is that these pictures don't match. This is uh, picture number 92, whereas this is for certificate 90. So the next thing I need to do is to organize these into ascending order so that these would match. I already sorted all of this data in ascending order of uh, certificate number. And now I need to do this just for this column. So I'm going to select this column. I'm going to go to my data. I'm going to go to sort. And I don't want to expand the selection. I only want to sort this selection. I only want these ones sorted. So I don't want everything else sorted with these. I'm gonna click on sort. I'm gonna go A to Z, which means smallest to largest and click okay. And now you can see only this data has been sorted and now these match. So this is 90, 91, two, four, five, and six. And there we go, 90, 91, two, four, five, six. OK, so now these pictures match these students because the certificate number is correct. And that's why we need um, a unique identifier always for every record. And we name our pictures with that identifier. OK, so I've got all my data in my spreadsheet. As I said, we don't worry about these ones here for now. Just forget about those. And we're just going to focus up to this point here. I'm going to save my file. I'll save. I'm going to close my spreadsheet. So let's go back one step. So I've seen my data. I've seen my folder with my pictures and I've taken the, the file path from my pictures, added them into my data source. Now let's have a look at my certificate. So because I've already attached, I've already started the mail merge process um, with, with this uh, document, I'm, it's asking me if I want to link it to uh, my data source. I'm going to click on yes. Now, as I said, um, I'm not going to go over the entire process of um, adding the merge fields and, and connecting everything. You should have some knowledge on mail merge if you're looking into doing this step. If you don't, go to the description. There's a tutorial on mail merge. It's very, very easy, very, very basic. Okay, so we can see here, these are the merge fields which I'm getting. So if I go to mailings, I can see all of the merge fields that I can bring in from my Excel data source. Okay. And I've already added these in here, say, example, grade one, two, three, four, and all of these. The one that's missing now is what I'm going to put here in this container. 
Now, before I do this, uh, let's talk about this container. What is it? Well, essentially, I'm just going to create another one for you very quickly. It's just a text box. So if I go to insert and add a new text box, here it is here. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to choose a simple text box. There it is. And this is what I've done. So you can see this thing here because it's, it's tightly wrapped. What I do, I, I select this and I put the wrapping on top of, uh, in front of the text. That allows me to move this text box anywhere I want without it disrupting uh, my document at all. And then uh, what I do, I adjust the size of my container. So let's say I want it to be smaller. I can make it this small. Okay, I'm going to delete what's inside there because we're going to put a merge field. And then the next thing I do, I put my insertion point to be center aligned. So I'm going to go to the home, put it center aligned. And then if I double click on my text box border, I can actually see my shape format here. And I've got here the align text and I put that in the middle. And what that does, that puts my insertion point right smack in the middle of the text box. So when I put my picture, it's going to put it center aligned horizontally and center aligned vertically. And that just gives it a nice uh, look. And if I want the border to be visible, I will leave it visible. If I don't, if I double click on this, just to make sure I can see the shape format here, I can choose the outline to be no outline. So that will mean no um, border will be seen. I like the concept of the border because it gives it a more, um, I don't want to say retro, but a more basic view once you've printed it. And normally you will take a passport photo and stick it in the rectangular box. It gives you that kind of effect. Um, so that's basically what I've done here. So let's just get rid of that. So that's my text box. I've resized it to be four and a half centimeters tall by three and a half centimeters wide. So you can see that up here. And that's it. That's all I've done. OK, so it's just a text box. Now, the next step is how do I add my uh, merge field to bring the picture in? So let's go to mailings, just like I will go add any of these. So if I was to delete this one here, grade one, um, if I wanted to add it, I simply go to mailings, insert merge field and I put grade one. And there it is. So for this text box, for the image, I'm going to click here. And inside my text box, I'm going to go to merge field and the name of my column where I copy pasted the path was picture. So that was the column title. I'm going to click on picture and it adds this merge field. Now, this isn't enough. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit so we can see the entire path that I'm going to write without it wrapping around. So what I now need to do, I need to select all of this. I'm going to press on my keyboard the control button and with the control button pressed, I'm also going to press the F9 button on the top. So holding down control and pressing F9, that puts these curly braces around my field name. I'm now going to type here the words. I'm going to put this in capitals, but it doesn't have to be in capitals. If and then true. OK, and Basically, that just says if this file path, which is, this is linked to, so it's going to get the file path, C drive, merge, wherever, whatever's inside my Excel file. If that's true, then it's going to add that. Then I'm going to select all of this again, just like before. Hold the control button and while holding it down, I'm going to press F9. That gives me another set of curly braces. And I'm going to type include picture. OK, now it has actually started wrapping. So I'm just going to do that so you can see the entire line. It doesn't matter if it wraps. It's just easier for you to see right now what it is that I'm doing. Now, um, in between these two curly brackets, now you don't have to do this. You can ignore this and I always ignore it. And the reason is uh, you'll understand why you can put um, the slash the command there. This basically says that once you merge, it's not going to put the picture in the document. It's only going to put the path of the picture. And that's important because it will not save the picture in the document. If you did and you were exporting, say, something like four or five hundred of these certificates, then each one of these certificates, because it brings the picture in as well, the file, the size of that file will be massive. So we only save 
the the reference to the picture now the bad thing is if you delete the picture or move it from its location then it won't be able to bring the pictures up okay now whether you do this or not and that's why i don't bother it will not add the picture in there's it, it seems to be a bug there's probably another way of doing this i haven't found it yet but um it doesn't bother me the reason why once i've merged my pictures into my certificates i actually print it as a pdf document and once it's in a pdf document those pictures are fixed inside my document they they're not massive file sizes because it's a portable document format and it just saves me all the trouble and it cannot be edited so you can't be tampered with either unless uh, you open unless you've got adobe acrobat editor or something like that so this is all you have to do i'm just going to change this now to the size that i want as i said that doesn't really matter so i'm just going to put that to three and uh, four and a half high and three and a half wide that's just my preference 3.5 doesn't have to be there we go and i can move this to the location that i want i'm going to put that there there we go okay that's it guys that's that's all you have to do now what i'm going to do now i'm going to merge my document so it produces one document with all the certificates and all those pictures added so here we go i'm going to go to the mailings i'm going to click on finish and merge edit individual documents i want to merge all my documents i'm going to click yes and there we go here are my documents look at that all of the documents merged you can see the pictures are in the right place absolutely fantastic now i'm going to show you a little issue here okay um what i do now is this i print this as a pdf document because if i save this document because it's not saving the pictures it's saving the paths those paths are different different locations um to where you save your documents so you won't see the pictures but if you print it as a PDF, you keep all of your certificates. So here we go. I'm just going to print this first file, uh, print. And there's my PDF printer. I'm going to choose on print. And I should get a, there's my printer here. Okay, it's asking me where to save. Now, this is where I've got my other ones. I'm just going to call this uh, certificates. I'm just going to put a big X in the front of it. So we know this is this version couple of x's there okay and i'm just going to save that there and i'm also going to save the document okay now, there we go it's exported it there's my pdf document that's saved so i'm just going to close that i'm also going to save the document as well so file save as and i'm going to save this now browse i've got this on my desktop desktop here merged and i'm just going to call that with two capital x's there again just like before and save all right now i can close this and i'm going to close this as well but i'm not going to save it because it won't work um so you have to add that merge field in again once you if you want to do the merge again so if i close this and i'm not going to save there we go I'm going to go have a look at these files which I've just now created. There they are. So this one here, PDF, beautiful. I can print that off. I can save this. Absolutely fantastic. This one, however, is in a different location and the file path uh, doesn't match for it for whatever reason. It's not saving these pictures. So this is why I export and then print as a PDF because it guarantees that my pictures will be included in my certificates, even if you delete the pictures. Okay, that's it, that's for mail merge. I'm going to show you now the process where you can actually do this, where you can uh, essentially export each document as an individual file with a personalized file name. Now, this is what these folders are here for. Now, before I actually go into this and demonstrate this, there's going to be a link popping up right now on the top up here where you can actually go and see the tutorial and how to set this up because you need to actually set up a macro and once you set that up once the process is super easy any time that you want to do this uh, the tutorial that you're looking for actually looks like this so this is the the tutorial that you're looking for but as i said that link is at the bottom in the description and it popped up 
on the on the screen just a, a while ago here okay so let's go have a look at see what it is that we're doing so i've got a folder here which is going to be the folder where all the pdf documents are going to be exported automatically for me it also exports the word documents as well now again the word documents will not contain the picture because of the whole process which i explained before um, the location the files the, the and uh, the files are not actually added to the document. So why do I have this here? Because I've got my macro already set up. If I just want to merge documents and create a Word document and a PDF, it's there. I can just delete them afterwards, okay? Now, the next thing that I need to do really, um, this thing here is basically something you can download again in the description. It's the macro, um, so you can set it up on your, on your device. So the only ones that we need, which are extra now, is this one and this one, the PDF docs and the Word docs. Now, if I look at my data in Excel, we saw this before, I need to also add uh, a couple more things. Where is the folder where the Word documents are going to be exported? That's this one here. Where is the folder where it's going to export the PDF documents? And what is the file name of each uh, document? So for this one, again, I've, I've used some um, uh, text tools or uh, methods to manipulate text in uh, Excel and I basically use the concat feature to generate the the name using the certificate number and the student uh, name and forename and last name so that's really easy to do I'll just demonstrate one I don't think I've got the link here but I just do a very quick one here for you so if I just click on here just put equals and I want to add let's say the certificate number I'm going to click on the certificate number and then I'm going to say concat that. So here it is up here. Um, I'm going to concatenate that with, uh, let's say the, the last name, or let's put a space in there, put a space in speech marks. And then I'm going to concatenate that with just, let's put the surname, okay? Now if I press enter, there it is there. You can see it's actually doing that for me. Okay, let's just, there we go, okay? So that's how I would do that. So essentially, to be able to um, export to individual files, you need to give the file name and the location where it's going to save those files. So that's there. It's called doc folder, PDF folder, and file name. Okay, so once you've got that set up in there, I'm just going to don't save that because that was already set up. I'm going to open up my certificates. Click on yes. And as I said, there's no change. I'm going to add my command in my text box just like before mailings insert merge field that's the picture i'm going to select all of that Control f9 um, if true i'm going to leave it in small letters this time and then select all of that Control f9 i'm going to put include picture i don't need the slash d because it doesn't save the picture anyway and that's it how do i do this now what well, i've got here my developer tab in my macros, I've got a macro already set up, okay? And again, watch the tutorial, we'll show you how to do this. As soon as I click on run, check this out, click on yes, and that's it. It's now automatically for me producing the Word document and the PDFs automatically for me, and it's saving those with the file name. That's it, it's done, six of them. So if I close that now, I don't need to save that, if I look now in my Word document, there are my documents. Again, these don't contain the pictures because of that file path, as we said. However, if I go to my PDFs, there we go. It's got the right file name, contains the picture, and I've got a unique certificate for each student. Isn't that fantastic? Really, really good. Okay, so if you've learned something new here, if you uh, enjoyed this video tutorial if you're interested in putting pictures in a mail merge document you didn't know how make sure you like make sure you subscribe i'll see you again in the next video take care bye bye